and today I'm going to show you how to make the earrings that you can make with those little teardrop beads that I showed you how to do in the previous video and the next video will be actually how to make the bracelet here are the earrings and that we're going to make today and in the next video we'll show you how to make the bracelet so without further ado let's go ahead and get started making these earrings okay okay so in order to make the little earrings you're going to need the set of instructions which you can get from the website at paperbeadcrafts.com in the library and uh, so and you're also going to need the little teardrop beads that we made in the previous video and those are right here okay and you should already have your beads made because this video is actually about how to make the earrings you're going to need the size 6 seed beads and I'm using the AB Clear Miyuki or Miyuki or however they're pronounced and these are crystal AB these are size 6 seed beads you're going to need 20 gauge silver wire I'm using artistic wire uh, for the earrings and the bracelet all together you're going to need about 24 inches uh, for the earrings though you're really actually going to need six and then you're going to also need a lobster claw clasp but that's for the bracelet so don't worry about that right now a pair of silver plated earring findings or whatever earring findings you want to use will work just fine and then you're going to need silver plated tiny jump rings these are about five millimeters in diameter you're going to need two of those one for each earring and this is what we're actually making today so let's get started on getting these made the first thing you're going to need also is you're going to need some wire cutters pull out my handy dandy zebra and I'm going to pull out about six inches and my paper's eight and a half so I'm going to cut it about here give or take and then I'm going to cut this in half because I don't need really that much for the earrings you're going to need about three inches for each each earring okay and then the ne the first step that you're going to do is you're going to take your needle nose pliers and you're going to bend each piece of silver wire in half okay and uh, and you want to do it kind of in a sharp half like that in a v, in a V shape and you're going to do that to both of them just like that and set them aside and then the instructions say uh, let's see place two teardrop beads on each of the bent wires just like this and you want to make sure that the point is facing down okay so the next step is you're going to jam these together so that they form a heart shape and then you're going to add two of the size six seed beads to each of the the two sides so I'm going to go ahead and pull out some seed beads and put them down hopefully they won't fly away on me okay all right so I'm going to go ahead and put two on either side and when you do that on each side you're going to with your needle nose pliers bend these outward to lock the beads in place well to lock the beads in place it does work okay and then you're going to put those on the other side as well all right and then you're also going to bend that over and then with your needle nose pliers you're going to bend okay you already did the at a 45 degree angle to lock in the seed beads okay bring both ends of the wire together to close to shape the form of the heart just like this just bring them both together and do it as tight as you possibly can then while you're keeping the two wires together you're going to put one more seed bead on your um, 
two wires together at the same time, just like that. And pull it down and make sure it's there as tight as possible so that it matches those. And then what you're going to do is you're going to cut the end of the wire to about seven millimeters long beyond the single seed beads. This will be used to form a loop. And I've got a little bit more than that. I'm going to cut it down to a little more than a quarter inch. More like three, three eighths or so. And then you're going to take your needle nose pliers and you're going to bend both of them back at the same time. And this forms your simple loop. And you want it probably an eighth of an inch away from the end. And you're going to bend both of them together at the same time. Now I was not close enough to the end. I'm going to do that a little bit more. Okay. Basically what you're doing is you're forming a simple loop right like that to um, this is sort of like a basal uh, what are those things called a bail on a on a necklace or a pendant so that's basically what you're forming is you're forming a bail it's very simple just like that and you're going to do that to both of them and then you're going to take your little tiny jump ring you're going to open it up and this is where you want your flat nose pliers as well or your chain nose pliers because you're going to hold on to the jump ring with one and you're going to open it up with the other okay let me uh, grab a hold of it okay so you're going to open it up just like that and you're going to put your earring on it your little charm and then you're going to get your ear wire and put that on also so if you look at your earring you're going to have you know you had put that loop to the back the end of the loop to the back and so you want to make sure that when you put on your earring you make sure that the front part of your earring is on the front side of that bend over part of your earring charm so you want to want them going the same direction so just go ahead and put that on there and close the ring back up okay it's going to take me just another minute here okay and so I've closed it up and this earring is finished so you're going to repeat the same thing I just did with the other one and you'll have a pair of earrings like this and that's it for the earrings and watch uh, for the next video on how to make the bracelet this is going to be the bracelet now I used a lobster claw clasp but there's nothing wrong with using a magnetic clasp it might actually make it easier to put turn on you know pull on and off but here is a tip about looking for magnetic clasps you want to make sure that it says heavy duty on the magnet part of it because if you get standard it's not going to be strong enough and it's going to fall apart on you so get the heavy duty magnets that's really what you want to look for they're a little bit more expensive but they're definitely worth it okay watch for the next video it should be ready in a day or two and until then see you later and thank you for watching goodbye